everybody and welcome to Robin's Spring Cleaning Shindig. I'm Kayla, your personal Norwex consultant and I'm going to show you guys a few things today. Um, so let me switch my camera around so you can see what I've got going on. Alright, so we've got a couple things here. Um, well, we've got a lot of things here. I'm going to show you guys just a few of these, um, including... Dun, dun, dun. We got raw chicken here. So I'm going to do my favorite test ever, which is to rub raw chicken all over my table, which is horrifying, but also really cool because just cloths and water will pick all of it up. So, all right. Well, first things first, um, I started being a Norwex consultant because a while back before I had Norwex, um, I would be shaving my legs. And whenever I shaved, I would get these rashes all over my legs. And my mom can attest to this because uh, I believe she's in this party. But I would get rashes and I would itch my legs so bad that they would be bleeding and I couldn't stop itching them. It was like horrible. Um, I was also getting breakouts. So like the re regular razor burn and that type of thing. It was terrible. Um, I didn't wear shorts. I didn't want to go outside or any of that. So I was introduced to Norwex by my boyfriend's mother at the time. And she gave me a body cloth and she said, hey, like, here's a body cloth. Try this body cloth and use it instead of shaving cream. And I was like, what? So yeah, I've shaved with just water before and it was not a good experience at all. Let me tell you, it was worse than normal. So I'm like, no way, I'm not going to shave with just water and a cloth. That's, no, that's not going to work for me. Um, she said, just try it. Just try it once. And so I did. I tried it. Um, it seemed a little crazy to me at the time, but so I used it with just water and I shaved. And let me tell you, my legs did not break out at all. There was no rash, there was no razor burn, there was nothing. And within months, all of the scabs on my legs and the scars had healed. Um, somehow this, this body cloth managed to let me shave my legs and wear shorts again. And I have not had a problem with shaving my legs um, ever since I've started using Norwex. So that was really exciting for me. Another thing is the makeup remover cloths um, cleared up my acne a lot. Now I have a little bit of breakouts here and there, but uh, the makeup remover cloth helped clear some cystic acne that I was having. Um, it was taking up all the makeup residue and it wasn't leaving any chemicals on my face like from a commercial makeup cloth remover. So that's why I started using Norwex because it proved itself to be worthy of my attention. So now I'm gonna show you guys a couple things. Uh, but first, I wanted to start with Norwex's mission is to improve quality of life by reducing the amount of chemicals people have in their homes. And I think the actual wording is by radically reducing the amount of chemicals in people's homes. All right, so this is our first our first product that I'm going to show you here, this is our Enviro cloth. This is the one that you saw in the Andy How Does It Work video, if you watched that. They showed our Enviro cloth. Um, the reason our microfiber is so special is, um, well, microfiber in general has to be one-sixth of a human hair. Like the fibers have to be the size of one-sixth of a human hair to be considered microfiber. Norwex microfiber is one two hundredth of a human hair, the fibers are. And uh, we have silver embedded in our cloth. So when the fibers are made, the silver is embedded in the fibers that are in our cloths. So what it does is it inhibits bacteria, mildew, and mold growth from within the cloth because the cloth picks up so much bacteria, it stores it inside the cloth until you wring it out and rinse it. Um, but whatever is left over, the silver is going to take care of overnight. And you are not going to get a mold growth. You're not going to get that mildew smell that you hate, that I hate. It's amazing. So the first thing I'm going to show you, where is my butter? I have a very dirty 
house right now, so if you see it, just don't tell me that you saw it. <clears throat> okay. I don't know where my other butter went. Oh, there it is. Alright. I don't know if you've ever gotten something nasty on a window or a mirror, um, but I'm going to probably look funny to whoever can see me outside this window, but that's okay. I'm going to, let's see if you can actually see this here. Alright, I have a gnarly looking piece of butter, okay? Now I'm going to, can you see that? Where is it? Oh good, there it is. I'm going to rub this butter all on my window and it's really gross. Um, can you guys still see that? Yes, you can. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. So that butter is really going to be hard to get off with a window cleaner. Um, it's going to take a lot of different tries. Trust me, I've tried it. Some people do Vaseline to test this out as well. That's really hard to get off. Um, with window cleaner as well, but with the Enviro cloth here, you're just going to take, you're going to go back and forth, just get the butter off. This is just with a damp Enviro cloth, okay? There are no other cleaners on this. You're just using water. And this is the polished cloth that I'm using. It gets it completely streak free. Um, so I know it's hard to see on a cell phone. But there's the surface after I completely took the butter off. And if you can't tell, it is completely streak free. I'm checking for the lint and streaks and I cannot find any at all. Because these, this dynamic duo is going to bust out your windows like nobody's business. It makes cleaning windows the easiest thing ever. So, viral cloth, window cloth, amazing. Next thing I'm going to show you with the viral cloth is my favorite thing. Um, that's the chicken demo. So I've got raw chicken right here. And I've got this tester right here. Um, this is the tester I'm going to use to check and see how much protein is left after I clean with the Enviro cloth. Um, <clears throat> these are testers that they use in commercial restaurants. So health Health testers and uh, people like that, inspectors, are going to use these. This is from a third party. This is not from Norwex. This is a protein tester from a third party. Um, it's called Hygiena Pro Clean. Um, it's a protein residue test. Protein is smaller than bacteria. So if it's picking up protein particles, um, you can pretty much guarantee there's going to be bacteria on there too. So this is what it looks like whenever you touch the chicken to the swab. Green means that it's clean. Gray means that it's not It's not going to pass the test in a um, commercial restaurant. Um, and obviously, purple means there is a lot of protein. So, this is what it looks like after I touch the chicken with the cleaner. Very dark purple. <clears throat> so, very much so know that it's raw chicken. Now, I've got a clean one here that there is no liquid in this yet. I have not used this tester yet. Um, let me see if I can set you guys up here. So maybe you can see what I'm doing a little bit. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this raw chicken and let's see if you can see. I'm gonna rub it on my table, which is nasty. You can probably hear it squishing. There is a lot of protein and a lot of possible chance of salmonella on this table right now, which is a little bit scary, but I've got my Enviro cloth, okay? Now I did clean my hand with the Enviro cloth before I touched my face. Not that that means much to you right now, but it will in a second. So this Enviro cloth is damp. I'm just going to dip it in my bowl of water and um, get it a little bit more damp here. You just need to dampen the cloth. Like you, you hold it under running water and then you're just going to wring it out. 
um, and use it damp. Oops. I'm making a mess over here. Hold on, let me get this water off my table. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, so I got this kind of dried, sticky raw chicken. Um, I'm going to fold my rubber cloths into eighths because you can use... You've got four surfaces on one side. That's cleaning paste, by the way. Four surfaces on one side. And four surfaces on another if you fold it into eighths. And if you used it scrunched up, it's really not going to get that clean that you want because it's not going to pick up everything on the surface. Um, but you have to use it flat and it's going to pick everything up. <laughs> Alright, so I've got this area right here. I don't know if you can see it. But there is nasty chicken that you saw me rub on there. So I'm going to swab it again. Um, I'm going to swab with the clean one after I clean with the Enviro cloth, and then I'm going to swab it with the chicken so you can see that it will turn out purple. Alright, so I got the Enviro cloth. It just has water in it. This is just a cloth and water that I'm using to wipe up this chicken. Um, now somebody did a test and they used bleach. They used couple other things like some common Clorox wipes and they did the protein tests with those and they found um, now I'm just polishing it out of habit they found that there was not a good clean with those products they actually found protein residue in those products um, after they used them to clean the raw chicken so alright I'm gonna take this clean swab I'm gonna swab this whole area, get a nice good swab, okay, and then I crack this little thingy, and this releases the liquid that's going to change colors and determine um, what kind of a clean we got. Alright, as you can see, Green on the scale is the only acceptable color for protein residue removal um, in bacteria. And green means that there was no, or that there was like, I think 0 0.005, something like that. There was like a passable amount of protein left on the surface so that a commercial restaurant and an inspector, they would let this pass. So if you were cleaning with this and they swabbed it, it would be completely good. This means that it's, the surface is completely clean. I could eat off of it if I wanted to. Um, and now I'm going to stamp this cloth back on there. Leave some nice little residue, right? Because if you keep cleaning with that cloth, you want to know that it's not going to leave protein residue everywhere, right? So now I'm going to swab the surface again. Let's see. As you can see, it didn't even turn gray. Um, I stamped that cloth back on to transfer any kind of protein um, onto the surface again, but there is no residue. It is completely clean with just a cloth and water. And because I can, I'm going to take this and I'm going to swab the chicken. And put it back in. Now it's going to start turning purple. The test I did before this, um, it's going to turn purple like this. Uh, because, well, as you can see, it's starting to turn gray. I don't know if you can tell on the screen. We'll give it a minute here. It's starting to turn gray because it's obviously picking up the protein in the chicken. Um, I could wait to show you at the end, but I'm just going to go ahead and swab the chicken a little bit more. So we can see a quick result here. Now the swab is starting to turn purple already because of the protein chicken. 
These protein testers are very sensitive. Um, so I've actually dug one of these swabs, kind of dug it into the envirocloth. Um, it is not going to transfer the germs, but the germs are held inside the viral cloth. So I've dug it into there and it's turned gray on me because I've squished out some of the, the bacteria that it was holding, which comes out whenever you squish it or rinse it or wash it, but not as a residue when you use the same cloth to clean. So there we go. You can see the protein that is in the chicken. So with just the viral cloth and water, you cleaned up all of that protein and you cleaned it better than even a Lysol or Clorox wipe would do, which is crazy because I've been using those even though they're toxic. That's what we have to use at work especially. So, well that's our viral cloth and our window cloth. Um, a couple of the other things I'm just going to show you. Um, I showed you the body cloths already, but these come three in a pack. Um, I think the pack is about $20, um, which is... Not bad at all. They last for longer than two years if you take care of them, but they come with a two-year warranty. So if anything goes wrong with them or something something isn't right with them or they're not cleaning well enough and it's not just because they need washed, um, there is a warranty. You can get the room replaced. And there is a 30 or 60 day money back guarantee if you don't like these products. So here's the body cloths. They're very soft. Um, here's the dusting mitt. This guy is awesome. He makes dusting a lot easier. And he uses static electricity, so you get him a little bit staticky here. And you put him over the surfaces. You can clean knickknacks. You can pretty much do whatever you want. And he makes dusting really, really easy and painless. Um, I don't know if this is backlog in it. Yep, so this guy can be also use wet. You can use him wet or dry, um, which is really great. Kids dust their kids dusting mitts and they use them to wash cars because the dusting mitt is so soft. Um, it's not going to damage any kind of surface or anything like that. The kitchen cloth, which as you can see I wiped up a little bit of water here. The kitchen cloth is just like the Enviro cloth, but it has a ribbed texture to it. And it is made for cleaning up any kind of crumbs, anything you have in the kitchen that you need cleaned. The Enviro cloth is going to get it, or the... Uh, excuse me, the kitchen cloth or the kitchen towel, which is the bigger version, they're going to get it for you. Um, I always keep one just for drying dishes um, because, honestly, these are the best things I've ever used to dry dishes ever. Um, I have a wine glass right here. I'm going to get it nice and wet, and then I'm going to use the kitchen cloth to dry it off. So I've got this guy. And I've got this wet glass here. Um, one time when I first got my cloths, I was drying dishes and my dad was like, no, don't dry the dishes. You're going to spread the bacteria all over them and you're going to leave fuzzies on it. And I was like, I'll bet you $5, which was a lot for me at the time. I'll leave five dollars that there's not going to be a speck of anything on this cloth or on this dish after I finish drying it. And he was like, yeah, that's not going to happen. And so I dried it and there was nothing on it. And so I don't remember if he actually paid up the five dollars or not. But here you can see the cloth got all of the water off and it's completely shiny. Um, some people use this window or polish cloth and they polish the outside of their wine glasses. So anyways, there's that. Um, just a couple more things to show you. This is cleaning paste. This is going to be your elbow grease in a jar. A lot of people use this to get Sharpie off of their tiles. You can use it to get um, crayon and Sharpie and paint off of walls. A lot of people have success with that. Um, it's good on stainless steel for cleaning off smudges. Um, a lot of people can get it just off the Enviro cloth and the window cloth. But if you've got a tough job, like say maybe you've got something burnt onto your stovetop, this cleaning paste is going to get it off for you. Um, it's magic in a little can. Um, this is a Spira sponge. This is a non-scratch sponge. 
that you use with the cleaning paste, or you can use any of our cloths really, but our Enviro cloth and our Spira sponge are the main things you're gonna wanna use with this cleaning paste. Now in an earlier demonstration that my camera decided to totally not film for me, I showed that I took this little tarnished cup here and I cleaned this side with the cleaning paste and in a biro cloth. Um, I just did a quick little rub down of this little section. Um, as you can see, I, as I turn, it starts to get a lot more tarnished here. My husband actually likes the silver that we get to be tarnished, but a lot of people really like to polish their silver nice and clean. Um, there was a lady that I that I saw, she was about to get rid of all her silver because she couldn't find anything to actually polish it. And, um, a Norwex consultant introduced her to the cleaning paste in the Enviro cloth and she was able to polish all of her silver completely and she was sold. She definitely bought a thing of cleaning paste and definitely bought an Enviro cloth. So we were super happy that she was able to keep her silver. But um, the last thing that I want to show you is, well I'll show you two more things. This is our Enviro wand. Just to give you an idea of how big this is pretty long here. This is really, really good. It's basically dusting it with little hands. Um, this is awesome for dusting for the dust vents, like the lint traps that you have on your dryer, or for your ceiling fan because you can bend it. It's a wand um, that you can use for top of your shelves, on the side of my fridge, and the back of my fridge where nobody wants to go. This is what I use to get everything. It picks up all the nasty stuff on here. Um, you can use it for on top of your your shelves, um, your cabinets, anywhere you can't reach. It's awesome for that. And this little attachment thing, it actually comes off and you can put it on the mop attachment. So you can make it about this tall. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. You can make it about this tall. If you have high ceilings with ceiling fans, if you have windowsills way high up there and you can't reach it, it has the extension to be able to do that. And that comes with the mop. And the last thing is my favorite thing that I use just as early as the body cloths. And this is the Ultra Power Plus laundry detergent. But trust me, it is not just laundry detergent. This is like pixie dust. Okay? I'm not kidding. This stuff gets out stains that I thought would never come out. I had a... I can't remember if it was a shirt or a scarf. I had something that got blood on it. And because I was in college and was not as sanitary as I am now, I just stuck it. I stuck it somewhere because I knew it wasn't going to come out. I tried rinsing it. I tried washing it with stain remover. I tried everything and it would not come out. And I was really sad, but I didn't want to get rid of it. So I just stuck it somewhere. Two years later, I find it after I have Ultra Pack Plus. And I think, ha, oh, what the heck, I'll just try to get it out. Now I used just a sprinkle. I sprinkled this like I would salt. Um, might be able to find my little bag, but I sprinkled just a little bit of this on there. And I let it soak, and I scrubbed it, and I washed it, and it completely came out of the scarf that I was wearing the next day, of course, because it was my favorite scarf. Um... It got it completely out. And after I figured that out, I, uh, my roommate, uh, who is acts of service, um, I went to her closet and I got all of her white clothes that had stains on them, like oil stains, um, those type of things. And she's like a cleaning girl. She knows how to get out stains. And these would not come out. Um, so I used Ultra Power Plus on her stains and it came out. And so I showed her when she came back, and I was like, look, I got out your stains. And she's like, oh my gosh, that stuff is magic. So from there on out, I was the girl with the magic cloths in my dorm. Uh, all the girls knew I was the one. If the bathroom looked sparkling clean on my cleaning day, they knew it was me who cleaned it. <laughs> because I used my, my Norwex stuff. Um, if anyone had a stain in their clothes, they came to me because I had Ultra Power Plus. Um... It's just crazy. And this stuff will save you so much money on your laundry because you only need one teaspoon of it in a single load of laundry. Um, it's amazing. So 
if you have a high efficiency washer, um, that's one teaspoon. If you have a regular washer, that's okay. You use maybe like two to three teaspoons. Um, probably a little bit less than that though. So you'll save a lot of money on laundry detergent because we all know that's expensive. So this is what you want to use to wash your cloths. And it's so awesome because there are no fillers in it. If you shake up whatever laundry detergent you're using right now in a jar of water, you're going to find that whatever is remaining that is not clear is what is staying in your clothes. And it's going to pick up dirt, it's going to pick up residue, it's going to pick up chemicals and viruses. It's going to latch all those things onto it because of the residue in it, which is terrible. Um, and it's the fillers that people use so that they don't have to add more cleaning product. But this guy is just 100% soap. Um, there's no fillers or anything. So when you mix him into water, you're not going to see anything. It's going to look like water, but it's going to get a complete clean um, because it's so awesome. And some people like the scent. They like a fresh scent with their laundry. And so what we recommend for that is our dryer balls, our wool dryer balls. You can put essential oils on them, and it scents your laundry naturally. And... Um, this is really great because I'm allergic to some laundry detergents, so this has been awesome for me. Um, and it's great to use on your cloths. You're not going to want to use something with fillers on your cloths because it will coat the silver and it will coat the fibers and not allow it to clean. So if you're going to use something, you want something with no fillers if you're not going to use Ultra Power Plus. But I highly recommend that you use Ultra Power Plus. Alright, so I'm going to post a little bit more about the care of your microfiber um, and I'll be sending you guys, um, when you purchase anything, I'm going to send you an instruction kind of manual on how to go ahead and use it and get the best out of it. But everything I showed you today, including the Ultra Power Plus, the kitchen cloth and the kitchen towel, the body cloths, the dusting mitt, the fuzzy enviro wand, your enviro cloth, and your window cloth or your polish cloth, the cleaning paste, the elbow grease in a jar, and these wonderful non scratch scrubbing thingies, the spiral sponges. All of that comes in what I call the starter pack or the safe haven package. It's going to replace pretty much every chemical that you have in your home and it's going to touch a little bit of every room that you have which is awesome so you get a head start on kicking the chemicals out of your home um, one last fact for you guys is the average household spends six hundred dollars a year on cleaning products and um, paper towels for your cleaning products and stuff like that Norux is going to save you a lot of money if if you spend nearly you're the average person, which you may not think that you do, but watch how much you buy paper towels and watch how many you use. Watch how much you have to buy cleaners, um, and you'll realize that that stuff really adds up. Um, now, Rex stuff you, you buy once. Obviously, it's a one-time price whenever you purchase your product, and you get to keep it, and it has a two-year warranty on it. So you're going to save money over time, and you're going to save time because this stuff cleans super fast. Um, and you're going to be healthy because there's no chemicals in your cleaning products. Um, and I lied. The last statistic that I'm going to give is something that just really struck me. Um, I don't want you guys to feel afraid or anything like that. But um, women who are stay-at-home, whether because of a job or they're a stay-at-home mom, have a 56% higher chance of getting cancer because of household products and the toxins in them. Um, when I saw that, I was really glad that I'm sharing Norwex with everybody because it's going to greatly reduce the amount of chemicals and it's going to improve quality of life for people and it's going to save people's health. So that is all that I have to say for you guys. If you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I have three of these fun booking gifts here. I have three bags. And I'll just show you them right here. I have three of them. And so whoever books a party with me, um, you get a free gift from me just for booking a party. 100% uh, free. So, and Robin's going to get a little free something for booking a party as well. Um, if you don't have the cash to spend on these products right now up front, 
Parties are going to get you so much free stuff. So just talk to me about hosting a party if you're interested um, or if you're interested in doing Norwex as a business like I am. Contact me. Let me know and we can definitely talk about it. So thanks for watching you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed it and hope you enjoy the rest of the party. See you later.